USS Gerard R. Ford. The U.S. supercarrier has finally started sea trials after more than a year of repairs. The ship received many compliments but also suffered from criticism after careless delays or departure for technical problems. U.S. Gerard R. Ford, with her number CVN-78, is the most expensive aircraft carrier of the U.S. Navy, worth about $13 billion, not to mention the $4.7 billion spent on research and development. This ship uses nuclear power, can operate continuously without stopping, under all weather conditions at sea. According to RT, the construction of the aircraft carrier is not an ordinary party. Ford is the product of years of construction, planning and design. More than 5,000 shipbuilders in Newport News and thousands of suppliers across the United States contributed to the first subclass ship. It took 757,000 liters of paint to paint the ship. This is enough to paint the White House 350 times. With a displacement of 100,000 tons for Earth, equivalent to the mass of 400 Statue of Liberty, Ford also became the largest ship of the U.S. Navy. The U.S. Navy began design work on the Ford in the early 2000s. The era of then Secretary of Defense Daniel Rumsfeld's revolution in military affairs. Construction work began on U.S. Ford in 2005 for a planned 2015 delivery. However, the delivery schedule gradually slipped to 2017 and cost balloon 20% to $12.9 billion, more than any nation has ever paid for a warship. Despite the cost, the Navy accepted her in an incomplete state and with known deficiencies, including problems with her catapult, arresting gear and elevators. Multiple additional issues with proportion were discovered in sea trials, necessitating long post-shakedown repairs. Many of these issues have since been resolved, the Navy says. But with a standard timeline for repairs and testing, the Navy expects that the U.S. Ford will not enter service until 2024, six years behind schedule and almost two decades after the first construction began. The ship is named after the 38th President of the United States, Gerard Ford, whose World War II naval service included combat duty aboard the light aircraft carrier Monterey in the Pacific Theater. The design of U.S. Gerard R. Ford brings many noticeable upgrades compared to the Limits class, especially the higher quality living environment for sailors with quieter sleeping compartments, many entertainment and fitness areas, and better air conditioning system. U.S. Gerard R. Ford shares a modified Limits class hard form with a completely reconfigured internal space arrangement and fly deck layout. Innovations for the Ford class include an enhanced fly deck with increased short race, improved weapons movement, a redesigned island, a new nuclear power plant, allowance for future technologies and reduced manning. This and many other evolutionary new designs are being developed by Newport News engineers to build the most capable aircraft carriers for the U.S. Navy. When completed, the ship was 337 meters long, 76 meters high, 78 meters beam, and a draft of 12 meters. In terms of size, Ford wouldn't be bigger than its predecessor, the Nimitz class but will have between 500 and 900 fewer crew members. This is because the ship was designed with highly automated components, allowing it to operate more efficiently with fewer employees, while also reducing the crew workload.
The heart of the ship is the advanced nuclear propulsion system with two reactors, four shots, and a sonar electrical power distribution system, providing a power generation capacity at least 25% greater than the 550 MW at the two A4W reactors in the Limits class carrier. By March 2018, due to issues with the nuclear propulsion system and munitions elevators, construction cost has reached 13.027 billion dollars, making the Gerard R. Ford the most expensive warship ever built. Theoretically speaking, the ship can reach a maximum speed of 30 knots. The range of activity is not limited. The ship's configuration and electrical generating plant are designed to accommodate new systems, including direct energy weapons, during its 50 year service life. Gerard R. Ford is intended to be the first of a class of aircraft carriers that offer significant performance improvements over the previous Nimitz class. Gerard R. Ford is equipped with an ANSPY-3 and ANSPY-4 active electronically scan array multifunction radar and an island that is shorter in length and 6.1 meters taller than that of the Nimitz class. It is set further aft and closer to the edge of the ship. Replacing traditional steam catapults, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system will launch all carrier-based aircraft. This innovation eliminates the traditional requirements to generate and store steam, freeing up considerable area below deck. With the E-MARS, Gerard R. Ford can accomplish 25% more aircraft launches per day than the Limits class and requires 25% fewer crew members. The Navy estimates it will save $4 billion in operating costs over a 50-year lifespan. The carrier will be capable of carrying up to 90 aircraft including the F-35 Joyce Tri-Fighter, F-A-18EF Super Hornet, E-2D Advanced Hawkeye, E-A-18G Growler Electronic Attack Aircraft, MH-60RS Helicopters, as well as unmanned air and combat vehicles. For self-defense, the ship is equipped with a range of surface-to-air missiles, including two RIM-162 ESSM, and two RIM-116 RAM launcher systems, which defends against high-speed, highly maneuverable anti-ship missiles. The closing weapon system is three 20mm flanks closing weapon systems. There are also four 12.7mm machine guns for close-range threats. The Gerard R. Ford, ushers in a new class of warship, decide to roll the seas through the 21st century. Gerard R. Ford entered the fleet, replacing the commissioned U.S. Enterprise, which ended her 51 years of active service in December 2012. At present, she is the world's largest aircraft carrier and the largest warship ever constructed in terms of displacement. <laughs> <laughs>